Hello guys, my name is Carla Fernandes. I'm a UX, UI and digital product designer. I'm a Bravo expert, a freelancer and a mentor. If you want to get to know a little bit more about myself, you can check the video about the five apps I have published using no code here on Bravo Studio channel. And today I'm here in partnership with Bravo Studio to show you some of the work around I have done in order to make it possible to add favorite items to my apps. Let's get started. I want to show you guys here a little bit of what we built today. So this is a very simple app that has several tools for you to scroll through and also love it. So I love design. We like sketch. Yeah, not that much. So Airtable is on my list and Bravo, of course. So you can see that this is emulating the fact of you actually favoriting something. So if I go to the favorite listing on the menu, you see that the three items that I just clicked are there. And if I want to remove any of them, I just click on the trash can and then I receive this pop-up, which asks me if I am sure that I want to remove it and yes, I am sure. So design you disappear. And if I keep doing this with the rest of the list, what you happen, it will be like a showing uh, empty state that I actually use the error 404 to display. And if you go to the list, all the items are now back to be empty. So that's it. Let's see how it works. Here on the left side, you have our file. And uh, like you just have the icon, a menu, this menu, I use the menus I have done um, tutorial for Bravo. You can check it out in this channel. I just got one from them. And uh, you have here the home, which has a list with two items that you can hear on the right side from Bravo Vision. And then you have the favorite page, which has just one single list um, and have a button for excluding. And you can see on the right side that there is no favoriting yet because I did create a error state 404 that would show up when the list is empty. You could also create other errors, but I'm mainly using this one. And if uh, there is a general error, I'm adding, oops, something went wrong. Now you can see the structure of the file. Here we have the name of the tool. We have a, a background that you be like, um, just a simple, a simple button, right? So this is, um, creating the remote action to update this uh, item on the air table and then you have uh, the hard field the hard field here it's simply um unicode heart so you can get those on on the web searching for unicode you can copy it, you can put it here. It could be a star, it could be anything else, but so I'm using a Unicode for a empty heart and for a filled heart. So here you have a filled heart and here you have empty heart. I just showed you the structure of the Figma file and now I will show you how was the setup of the Airtable and the script that helped me creating the favoriting functionality. If you would like to have other tutorials like this, be sure to just subscribe to this channel and activate your notifications. Have you ever needed to add favoriting functionality to your Bravo apps? What was your app about? Tell me in the comments below. On Airtable, you have the tools and then you have here user records. That is a field that's actually linking it to the user's table. In the user's table, you have all the users that you have 
and for each user you have a list of items that are from your tool so each of the users you in fact uh, be able to select as many tools as they wish to be favoriting and you also can could know later on if you want to do something and check it out like uh, how many people actually liked this single tool or the, that single tool you could, could create a field on air table to make that uh, sum for you but so here you see that uh, this b like here i'm using device id so this b99 this is the device id of my phone and that's why it's empty i really removed all the favorites there so you have two id that's just the the record id from Airtable, like uh, you can see here the type i just added the formula with the record id you have the tool and you have user record so it's very simple here i have added the app right and in each page they are used it's using a data li library so here it's all the tools what is doing is that it's getting the list of all the tools that i have on our table and if the user that is logging on this right now right like that i'm sending has that item a user record with their number it will be the heart will be filled so i can show you here the example what happens on my script this is task one this is my own device here so it's a php script and it's exactly that so you see here it's just using a unicode for heart and this heart is empty and if if i would favorite any tool then this heart will be filled with a unicode heart that is filled and that you be exchange here on the list and also show for to me as visibly favored i know it seems a little bit complicated probably i hope you guys understand if you don't just add some comments or give me your questions so here i will show you how it is set up so what i created on my script were three tasks the test task one i'm getting the list of tools and then i am checking for each tool the device id that i'm sending if it's true or false task two i'm just showing the favoriting and the update two it's task zero which i'm sending the device id number and the two id so i'm getting the two id where the I, the user clicks and then sending that to because if it's not liked then I want it to be liked, so I will add it to the user list. And if it's liked, then I'm not. I hope this really makes sense for some guys that understand a little bit of logic. So here on the favorite list, it's kind of the same. You just have the favorites list and then you are just doing the same. So here I have a remote action that I'm conforming if uh, the person says like yes i want to delete so i will refresh this page and in case there is none anymore of course that you'll be throwing the error and of the empty list and it will be shown the empty list and if there is any error it will just show an alert error and i will update and then here you have update 2 that is sending the to id and also the device id for the favorite listing, let me show you here how it goes. You have favorites here, and this is just look inside the favorites. So when I do this request here, you see that I'm already having an error because I'm using my own ID here. So I what I will do just for you to see um, the test, I will just get the, the user device ID from this other that has a list of four items. So here, Bravo, I will just replace this number and I will send. And then you see that when I send, I get the records with the heart field and they are four, four items.
in tools it's the same so if I go here you see a list with not just empty hearts but any kind of heart right here we have three possibilities we have a tools list that go over the tool and check if that device ID that I sent it's there on the each item so if it is it shows me a filled heart if it's not it shows me an empty heart the favorite tools it's very simple so it goes through the list and check just the items which that device ID it's there on the list and the update tool is that I am sending a record and also device ID and I am saying that if this item exists for this user it should be removed if it doesn't exist it should be added so we have here the favorites we have talked about it I will just check it out here again the home that is like a favorite tools and it's doing a loop on the list and also has a remote action and in this remote action it's also updating the tool so in one I'm using the remove and I am showing an alert in this case I'm not showing a confirmation message which you could I'm just trying to make the user see that if they click it turns red if they click again it turns white that's more or less what we do in every app we use that's the behavior I show you my script I contract someone to do this script on Upwork you could do the same so I created some tasks the task one is the one that updates the record the task one is the one that lists all the records and put the the, the filled heart or empty heart and the second one is the one that shows just the ones that are favored so here you know if you understand a little bit of logic or PHP you can probably just read this very easily but my thing here is that you can actually do it in several ways in like you could do it in JavaScript I'm just using PHP but you could do this any other way of course this is a no code tool but with the uh, help of uh, a code tool you can just get this to work so you can see here that uh, the logic I just told you simply is this one so if the user is not on the list it, if it is on the list it shows the filled heart and if it's not on the list the empty heart and afterwards task 2 of course always comes with uh, a filled heart and if it's empty it throws an error stage that is this one the 404 and that's it and here you can see um, some connections to the database and some updates I hope this was helpful and that you could understand how this simple app to favorite tools was set up I have added the Figma file for download on the community and you can get the link on the video description as well the air table and so on now you can see that with a little bit of code you could add some functionalities to your own app until we have them available on Bravo Studio in the future. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching. See you!